What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me on Twitter too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. I've been given this request many and many times and I was like it's what is Hinduism by Cognito and I was like this video is like 17 minutes long this is a long video for me to react to I'm gonna do it today we're gonna take 17 minutes and 51 seconds out of the day and react to this long one so I hope y'all got a little time to watch this with me y'all ready to do this Let's go. Hinduism, the religion of over a billion I'm people, glad it's in is English. the world's oldest religion and probably the most confusing one to non-Hindus. Oh, Some really? say it isn't even a religion, more a way of life. Oh. Hindus themselves call it the Sanatana Dharma, the eternal Dhanama. solution. So, what is Hinduism? Does YOLO apply to them? And who is this elephant guy? YOLO? Well, like, let's find you out. only live once? That's what I know about YOLO, you only live once. Oh, well they said reincarnation? Hindu, does Hinduism believe in Hinduism it? Hinduism is the world's oldest active religion. It's the result of the merging of the ancient Indus Valley civilization and the nomads that came into India around okay. 1500 BC. Oh, that's Some early. scholars say it could even go back many more thousands what? of years. But we won't delve Aliens. too deep into dates because dates in Hinduism are very, very controversial. But one oh. thing is certain, Hinduism is old. Like, at least 36 <laughs> Betty Whites. What the hell? Hinduism has been around for so long, it, 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 and the concept of India itself are inseparable. Hindu and India even come from the same word. Sanskrit was the ancient language oh, of the Hindus, yeah, and the that's... Sanskrit name for the Indus River oh. is Sindhu. The ancient Persians who sat across the Indus tended to switch their S's to H's, so Sindhu became oh, Hindu. Okay, so the people I living across it. the river became Hindus. That's really the Persians told the Greeks, who dropped that very not Greek like H, stuck in a very Greek like in India. At the end, and Look boom, at that. India. <laughs> Hinduism has a long, long history. But today we'll be focusing on just the core beliefs right, of Hindus because I don't have the willpower to animate. Well, we already India. got 17 minutes. This Hindus a long are video a diverse already. group. Some are strict, dedicating their lives to prayer, while others don't believe in any gods but still follow Hindu philosophy. To make things easier to understand, let's break Hinduism down into seven, seven. core beliefs. Right. So, here's my rap about the seven you can't Hindu do a rap. beliefs. You promised you weren't gonna do a rap. <laughs> oh, I wanted to rap! Don't, this, don't talk them out of the Fine. rap. Here's the, the regular version then. I wanted to rap! Belief in one universal soul. Hindus believe in a universal soul known as Brahman, a formless, genderless source of all reality. Okay. Brahman is the universe and the material that makes up the universe. It's a trippy concept, but think of Brahman as an ocean and everything else as drops propelling out of that ocean, separate oh, for a time, but still the same thing, if that makes sense. No. Two, belief <laughs> in an immortal up. individual soul. Okay. In Hinduism, souls are known as Atman. Atman. Actions of the soul while in a body have effects on that soul's next life. When you die, your soul moves to another new body. Oh, this I is like called that. transmigration. The that kind of body the like soul inhabits next is determined by karma. Oh, Three, yeah, karma. I believe karma. in karma. Karma I is action. I believe Usually in that. Or bad actions that affect society. See? For Hindus, karmic actions in the past affect us today, and our actions today oh, affect our believe. soul's future. Ah. Four, belief in moksha. The goal in Hindu life is to somehow get back to Brahman. If a Hindu can do okay. this, they will be freed from the cycle of life and death. This is called moksha. You can achieve what? moksha by realizing your oneness with Brahman. How you realize this is up to you. For this reason, Hindus pray, lead me from the unreal to the real. Oh, Five, right. belief in the Vedas. Vedas. The Vedas are Hindu sacred books of knowledge. Oh. There are four Vedas. Oh, Hindus believe that all four were divinely revealed to ancient Hindu sages. We'll take a closer look at the Vedas in a while. Six, belief in cyclical time. Okay, For I Hindus, there are no beginnings or endings. Oh, right. Time is a series of cycles, each cycle containing four ages or yugas. There's the Krita, the Treta, 
the Dwarapara and the Kali. Added together, the four U's total about 4.32 million years. Wow. At the end of each cycle, declining human morality leads to the total destruction of reality. Hindus believe that we are in the fourth and final yug. Kali. Seven. Belief in Dharma. Dharma is a difficult word to translate to English. Proper behavior is the best that I could come up with. Okay. Dharma maintains balance in the universe. As long as everything in the universe, like animals, plants, and humans, oh, get follow their dharma, then everything will be fine. All right. If they break from the dharma, though, uh -oh, don't do that. things will be super not fine. Oh, yeah. See, we are already, because we're Each destroying the planet. Each being has its own dharma. See, a lion's dharma is to kill and eat antelope. A king's dharma is to rule well. A subscriber's dharma is to smash the like button and <laughs> ring the notification. <laughs> so I'll make sure they hit humans, it. <laughs> their specific dharma is usually based on their age and their caste. Oh, the an old caste, priest see? would have a very different they dharma do they have, than a young the caste merchant, for example. Part of so those are the seven core beliefs that was of Hinduism. Seven? With them, this you can understand by. the Hindu mindset. Unlike Christianity or Islam, Hinduism is a non-profit organization. There is no Jesus or Muhammad for Hindus. Okay. There is no Bible, Quran, oh, there or Torah. Are, what Instead, they, they have a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of what? different That's a lot sacred to texts. I haven't even the four read the Bible. form the basis of the Hindu faith. So let's take a look at them. Okay, One, let's look. The Rig Veda. The Rig Veda is a collection of songs that oh, praise like that. and discuss ideas like truth, oh, like reality, songs. and the universe, along with discussions on war, weddings, and rituals. Two, okay. the Yajur Veda. Yajur the Yajur Veda covers stuff such as sacrificial rites and rituals. Right. Three, the Sama Veda. Sama, Sama literally means sweet song that destroys sorrow. It is mostly songs dedicated to praising gods. Aww, it's different than the rest of the Vedas because it's set to music. Four, the Atharva Veda. Okay. The Atharva Veda is my favorite one. I like singing Do you want to curse your enemies? Or charm that special someone? What? Maybe learn to invoke rain? Or discover so herbal have... medicine along with tips on warfare? Oh, like how to make one. poison arrows? Well, this Veda That's has you covered. Fair. Along with a bunch of other charms and curses. And curses? It even has a curse against cursors what? avoid us O oh curse as a burning fire avoids a lake strike him here that curses us as the lightning what? of heaven the tree a link to the atharveda is in the description just oh yeah i gotta read that a spell to get a wife or another to is banish it? pigeons from your presence it's it's great after the vedas come the upanishads which are like a sequel that makes the original make much more sense mm -hmm. they were probably written down between 800 bc and 500 bc during a time when some Hindus started to question the Vedas. Their ideas oh, became no, no. the Upanishads. The Upanishads are books on philosophy, like we would expect okay, from like Plato Aris or Aristotle. Okay, like the They're all about questioning, doubt, debate, oh. and finding the answers to life's difficult questions. The theme good of the Upanishads bit, huh? is that people are not their minds, what? or bodies, or egos, what but the Atman. Your soul is you. Everything oh, yeah, else is I unreal like and temporary. After the holy texts like the Vedas and the Upanishads are other less divine but still important texts. These include stuff like the Puranas, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Ramaya and the Mahabharata. The Puranas are like encyclopedias of Hindu Puranas, beliefs. That's like there are 18 that well-known Puranas. The Puranas cover things oh, from no, yoga, oh, I army organization, oh, I to taxation, get that one. I to the caste yoga. system, to hell, gods, and everything in between. The Bhagavad Gita, Gita for short, is one Gita. of Hinduism's most important texts. Oh, okay. The Gita takes place on a battlefield where Arjuna, a great warrior, refuses to fight. Lord Krishna steps in to urge Arjuna to fight, and their discussion covers things such as dharma and how to live your best life. Arjuna like eventually that. fought after Lord Krishna taught him the truth about dharma. Okay. As a member of the warrior caste, Arjuna's dharma was to fight against cast. evil. Oh, the lesson of the Gita oh. is that everyone faces difficult choices, oh, but they like must that. act on them according like to their dharma, no matter how unpleasant. Oh, I like Along that. with all these philosophical texts, Hinduism has two action-packed epics. Oh, the really? And the Mahabharata. They got any the Ramaya, movies about the these? early of the two texts, tells the story of Prince Rama. In the epic, you find out about his 14-year-long like exile, the abduction of his team. wife Sita, his battle with the evil demon Ravana, and his awesome monkey sidekick. He got a monkey sidekick! The I second epic, that. the Mahabharata, is the longest poem in the world. 
Oh my Seven goodness. times the length of the Bible and eight times the length of the Iliad One and poem. Odyssey combined. It rivals any soap opera you've ever seen when it comes to drama. Murder, betrayal. Murder, betrayal, I love, see it. love, but murder. What murder? Battles. The Mahabharata has it all. The theme running through the Ramaya and the Mahabharata is that Dharma must be followed for society to function. Okay. In Hinduism, there are four goals a person okay, should aim for to have a good this life. Is the one you gotta know. The first of these is Dharma, followed dharma. by Artha, the pursuit of prosperity and good reputation, Kama, pleasure karma. both in body and in mind. Oh, like the Kama and Sutra! Moksha, the release from the cycles of the rebirth. Kama Sutra. Hindus should practice Artha and Kama with Dharma in order to achieve Moksha. There are also this six temptations lot. Hindus should try and avoid Kama. Lust and materialism. Okay. This karma is different from the good karma mentioned above. I know. Next is kruda, which is anger. Oh, Loha, I get that. Which is greed. Yeah, I don't Moha, that. which is unrealistic attachment to things, people, nah, and power. Mada, which is pride, nah. and matsarya, which is jealousy. By the anger the one I have to work avoiding on. Avoiding these six That's temptations, a Hindu can break the cycle of rebirth and have their soul merge back into Brahma. Oh. Well, see if but I work on my anger, maybe everything that's... comes from Brahman, who is the one real thing in Hinduism. Mm. Hindus do, after all, have thousands well, of gods. So gods. let's take a look at them. Yeah. First, oh, there's this is Brahma, great. the creator. He created everything in the universe, Brahma's but he is the not creator. the universe itself. Because that's Brahman. They aren't the same thing. That last letter changes a lot, apparently. What? He has four <laughs> heads. The heads face four each heads. of the four directions to okay. represent the four Vedas, which he created, and the four Yugas. He also holds a book, a which represents now. knowledge. Oh, and he rides a giant swan because oh. he's just fancy. His consort is <laughs> Swati, fancy. the goddess of learning. Vishnu, the preserver, is the second member of the Hindu Vishnu. trinity. I heard of him. He preserves the Y'all world created by Brahma until it is eventually destroyed by Shiva. He holds Shiva a discus, destroyed. which he uses to cut down anyone that tries to mess with his dharma, along with a conch, which symbolizes victory. And the five oh, like elements. A that Vishnu a has many, many avatars, such as Krishna or Rama, who he uses to defend Dharma on Earth. Oh, and he rides a giant eagle named Garuda. What? Vishnu <laughs> has two much. consorts: the goddess Lakshmi and Budevi. Okay. Budevi is the Earth goddess, and Lakshmi is the goddess of good fortune. Oh, I, I want to get noted. Next is Shiva, the oh, destroyer, Shiva. the third member of the Hindu trinity. They had it's the his Shiva job to not destroy the universe in order to prepare for its renewal at the end of each oh, cycle of time. Right. The most identifiable of his features is his third eye, oh, which he almost Shiva's always keeps closed. Eye. If he does open it and you're in front of him, then you will have your face made Oh, up. I when want that to happen. making existence, Shiva enjoys long walks with his bull named Nandi. Oh. <laughs> At the end of the Kali Yuga, the fourth age of the world, Shiva will perform a dance that destroys the universe. Which is odd, because people have told me that my dance moves make them wish the world would end. No, so me and Shiva have quite a lot in common. <laughs> Paravati and that guy's Sati a joke are thing. Shiva's consorts. Shiva also has two sons. Ganesha. Oh, and I know Ganesha. Ganesha they, they put that. The, the, the statue in emergent. I know and that. is the god of war. Oh, Ganesha holds a that. very special place in the heart of Hindus, yeah, they, due to him being the remover of obstacles. The elephant head is the most obvious clue to identifying him. See, I know a lot he was actually this. born with a human head, but after Shiva cut that one off, he kind of had to make do oh, with an what? elephant one. He cut it off. If you're Christian or Muslim, head. you're aware that your religion has a bunch of different denominations like yeah. Catholics or Protestants, Sunni and Shia. Hinduism has these two. Okay. Hindus developed four major denominations, oh. some of which have their own subdivisions. The Vaishnavas primarily worship Vishnu and Shaivas primarily worship Shiva and his sons. Oh, okay. Smartas follow sacred texts like the Puranas, the Ramaya and the Mahabharata rather than the Vedas. They worship five gods and goddesses, Ganesha, Ganesha Durga, uh, Surya, Shiva, Shiva and a preferred avatar of Vishnu. Finally, Shaktas worship the goddess Devi. Oh, Shaktas see Devi as the ultimate and eternal oh, reality, like a feminine Brahman. Even though there are all these variations and more, the core beliefs of Hindus remain mostly the same. I like that. Hindus believe that Dharma keeps the balance in the universe. If the scales between good and evil start tipping oh, towards yeah. evil, then something needs to intervene to fix the universe's like Dharma. What? Like this divine intervention is oh. known as an avatar. Avatar, the, the word avatar is descent. 
avatars of gods that descend to Earth to intervene whenever help is needed to restore oh. Dharma. For example, when the Earth was dragged underneath the ocean, Vishnu descended to Earth as the avatar of Racha, a boar, and dragged the Earth what? back out. In other cases, Vishnu was born on Earth as a human avatar like Rama or Krishna, where he spent his avatar's life fixing Dharma. So, the caste system. Okay. If you only know one thing about Hinduism, this is I've probably d- I've it. heard of people this one. see it as an oppressive system that locks people in place based on their birth. And for a huge part of history, that's what it's been, unfortunately. Oh Let's do a quick explanation of what the okay. caste system is. I heard of the in Hinduism, caste there are four castes or classes that you can be born into. Mm-hmm. There's the Brahmin, the priest, oh, they the top. Kshatriyas, the warriors, the, warriors. the Vishas, the traders, traders, and the Shudras, the manual laborers. The, laborers. Okay. the main basis for the caste system can be found in the Bhagavad Gita and the Rig Veda. Krishna says in the Gita, I have created a fourfold system in order to distinguish among one's qualities and functions. The Rig Veda also refers to the four castes. It says humans were created from parts of the god Purusha, the Brahman from his face, the Kshatriya from his arms, oh. the Vaisha his thighs, and the Shudra his feet. This system was supposed to assign people functions based on their abilities, not, birth. not their oh, birth. They said, okay. If someone had the qualities of a Brahman or a Vaisha, oh, see, they could fill those thinking, roles. Like, a priest? The Gita didn't you don't know that movement among castes, and the caste system functioned as intended for a while oh, until a document see, known as changed. the Laws of Manu it came changed. about around the 5th century BC, That's what popularly happened. referred to as the Manu Shmirti. They created hard rules for Hindu oh. life. Two rules presented in it contributed to the way the caste system turned out. Manu states that they the Brahmin it up, were huh? the lords of all castes and he forbid moving among the castes. Well, well, the caste you were born into was now because the I caste priest, you're stuck in. You if he gives you as a hierarchy, they'll exploit it and things will go sour pretty quickly. As time passed, That's Hindus what, began see? thinking in terms of upper, upper and lower, lower castes. Yeah, see? Soon, cleaning toilets, tanning leather and dealing with meat products were thought to be impure. impure. The people doing those jobs became untouchables, oh. the lowest of the low, oh, that's people sad, though. without caste. Oh. And the rest is history. The modern world has brought many changes that's though. Good. Now Hindus mix freely while working together in the that's same businesses, good. attending the same schools, and generally just living together. That's but when it comes to marriage, many oh, Hindus still, still that, stick oh, to their own I caste. Didn't know that. But this too is changing, and on Hindu okay. dating websites you can actually see people list a non-preference for caste. Oh, It'll say, really? caste, no bad. <laughs> So, those are the basics of Hinduism. It isn't even close to covering everything. One video simply can't do it. Hinduism is too diverse, too deep, and means too many different things to different people. But mm-hmm. learning even the basics of this fascinating and it ancient is. religion so gives us an insight into the worldview of over a billion people. people. And wow. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find I did. all the sources used the in the description below. Cartoons if you would like to follow your correct dharma, all then right. please subscribe. Dharma! In- <laughs> I will pa- well, that was interesting. And 17 minutes flew by. <laughs> like, that's how much I was interested in it. I'm glad y'all made me do it because it didn't seem that long. And I've learned a little bit. I can't say a lot because that was a lot to take in. Like, that was so much to take in. And I knew some, I like the, the Ganesh, like I've learned some just from over the years with my friends here and telling me about things and all. But that, all those books, like my mind right now is like, all that information, <laughs> all that information. But I mean, this is, I like a lot of just, you know, the basic course of it. You know, I, and I already feel like I follow a little bit of that. What are those things that you have to, the thing, the, the jealousy, the pride that keeps you back? I think I pretty much mastered all those. I got to do the anger one now because I'll get mad at some stuff. <laughs> I'll get, I, I got a temper when somebody may, I'll be like, boom, what? <laughs> yeah, I got a temper. That's probably the one I got to work on right there. That tells me something right there. Maybe a little clue. Karma, like that kind of stuff. I totally like believe in. So look at me. I'm, I, I feel like I, I relate to a lot of this. Well, it was interesting. Let me know what y'all think. If you've seen this video before, if you haven't, 
comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, bye.